in darkness they came. Their destination, the Games Academy somewhere out at sea. Their mission, to become games playing legends and to crack the challenge of Games Master. <laughs> Team Championship. Now, at the beginning of the series, I said we want to make the challenges tougher. Well, me and the Games Master still think they're too soft, so we've come down deep into the Caretaker's Furnace Room here at the Games Master's Academy for the hottest video game championship you've ever seen in your life. Games Master presents the greatest video game championship in television history, the Games Master Team Championship. The championship consists of 27 teams picked from 5,000 applicants playing over nine heats, three semi-finals and one grand final. Each team contains three players featuring platform, beat em up and all-round experts. Each week, three teams play two challenges for points. The team with the lowest score is eliminated whilst the remaining two battle it out for a place in the semi-final. The teams will be playing the newest and toughest games, many of which they've never seen before. And the competition winners? Well, they'll get the Amiga CD32, the 64-bit Atari, the latest IBM PC with the real magic card, and last but not least, the Philips CDI. So, let the games begin! Oh, it sounds good, doesn't it? Yes, and not only that, they also win the coveted TV title of Games Master Team Champion! <laughs> I'm sure I'm the team captain. Team captain? Anthony. Anthony. And I'm Chris. Chris. Okay, so how do you think your team are going to do tonight, Sean? Well, we went to the auditions and we've seen them practicing. I think we've got the best chance. You think you've got the best chance? Well, oh, yeah. brave words. Yeah, where do you go? All right, let's go and meet the next team, see who you're up against. All right, thank you, lads. This way. Excuse me, excuse me. Through here. This way. Caretaker, shuffle them back. I can't see anything. Bring me a light. I want to see these guys' faces back. Okay, what's your name? Assad, and I'm the team captain. Ah, you're Assad team captain? I'm Kaja. Kaja, yeah? And I'm David. David, so, uh, you hired the last team, uh, the armchairs. Yeah. Do you think you're going to do well? Well, I only got four words to say to you, Derek, and that's we're simply the best. Simply the best? My name's changed to Derek all of a sudden. <laughs> my name's Dexter, actually. Let's go and meet the next team, because this geezer doesn't even know my name. Come on, everybody! And the final team in the green baseball caps come out of the Red Bridge Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. So, do you want to tell us your names? Yeah, my name's Clem and I'm the team captain. Good man. Anil. Anil. We'll lead. We'll lead. All right, so you've heard the other two teams spout off. How do you think your team are going to do? No, you worried? No, we can beat them with our hands down. You're not scared? No, not at all. And you've got all your supporters here tonight? Yeah. 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 To you all. Now, each team captain is going to choose a player from his team to play a challenge in his or her specialist field. Let's go over to the Games Master, find out what it's going to be. For my platform challenge, I've selected Aladdin for the Sega Mega Drive. The task is to collect as many apples as you can in 45 seconds, avoiding all the pedals on the very difficult escape level. From this challenge, I'll award five points to the person who collects the most apples, two points to the runner-up, and zero for the loser. All that remains for me to say is, I declare the championships open. So, the game is Aladdin. They've got 45 seconds to collect as many apples as they possibly can. Now, the armchairs of Hertfordshire have got their man Anthony in position. What's his form like then, Dave? Well, Anthony just about scraped through in the audition, but he'd be advised to take his time on this one because the object is to collect things, not to race through. Right, he's got to get as many apples as he possibly can on Aladdin. So, Anthony, start your challenge! Oh, goes Anthony, jump the chasm. That's always the tricky part, just getting over there. The things to look out for are the Aladdin's lamp in the top left hand corner, that's his life force. Here comes the, the ball! In the bottom right hand corner, Run. that's what he's got to collect in 45 seconds, as many apples as possible. Right, he's only got two at the moment. Now as he comes up his chasm, he wants to jump, get Do it down. Well. He's doing it's it done well. Do the well. best way Six. to finish that ball. He's going go. right up the chasm and jump Come backwards, on, because you've got a bit of time. 25 seconds, it John! He's got 10 apples he's so far. He's leaping like a lizard. very well, he's not dying. Look at that gazelle like a Very, very well. Go on, lad. There's a load of apples through there. Come on, he's got 10 seconds. There's a boulder out there, and run, run that six, boulder. Five, 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 more apples, he's four, got their line. Three, three, all over two, there. Five apples, one, one, that's all he's gonna get. Go get the so the armchair scored 13 there. Now, the turbo distractors may 
Sam David's moving into position. 13 apples, is that going to be a tough score for him to beat, Dave? It's a tough one to beat, but he's a good platform player. I think he could do it. Yes, well, let's hope he can. Let's find out if he's ready. I'm sure he is. David, start your challenge! Yeah. David's up to story he's away. Away. But jumping that chasm. Once you're over there, you, you can relax just a little bit. Now, is a boulder going to come out of the ceiling now? He's going to outrun the boulder and grab apples at the same time. He's away, he's, 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 he's at home, but it's not Ooh, that was very, close. very tricky. He's doing well. He's missing a lot of apples. No, he's missing five gone. apples there. He got the level. Oh, nice lead. The up in the sky, but he missed it. Picking up 11. He's a good through. score so far. 11. He's doing extremely well. Yeah, he's he is. He's going to lose a life now. Good man. He's going to get the boulder. will be coming after him any minute. Watch out for the big old boulder. Definitely going to go it's through. It's third eight. He's doing very, very well. He's a bar. This is a brilliant He's score. leaving like he's one one got ten seconds left. He's doing that. Raiders. Well, he's obviously got everything to play for. Well, he start your challenge. So, well, he leaps up in the air. He's away. He shoots. He leaps out the chasm. That's an appalling example. That of is terrible. Playing. Bad news for Wally. Uh, we got a hall of shame. Yeah, I think we must have, and that's definitely going to go down as the number one spot. Okay, let's check out the scoreboard. We got the Turbo Destructors. They came first with 14 apples. That means they got a healthy five points. Following closely behind was the armchairs from Hertfordshire. They scored 13 apples, that means they get two points. And the Redbridge Raiders got zil chapels, that means they got zil points. Yeah, they got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, we're going to set up the next challenge. While we do that, you can sit back and enjoy the reviews. Mega's top football games gets converted across to the Mega Drive. How does this affect the brilliant gameplay of Sensible? Renegade have made a corking job of this conversion. They use the three buttons on the Sega pad to real effect to make it a game of passing, banana shots, everything basically. There are three new levels of play easy to expert, which means if you're new to the game, you're not going to be humiliated too often by crushing defeat. It's a wonderful game. It's the best soccer game around anywhere, any place, any time. They come, they go, soccer games that is, Sensible's going to stay. The only thing unsensible about this game is if you don't buy it. That blonde menace, Dennis, who's always causing trouble in the movie, gets to cause trouble in his own game. Can Dennis cause a stir in over 20 levels of platform action? Ever had the feeling of deja vu? Well, you will with this one. Dennis is another retread of the Adams Family motif as we come out collecting coins again. The graphics are nice to look at, but the collision detection is awful. Yeah, been there, done it, seen it, tried it, boring. Avoid it, one. Choose between 16 international teams to see if you can do any better than England's feeble effort on the Game Boy's new game, Goal. It's a brave move to try and bring out a football game on the Game Boy. It'd be nice to say Goal succeeded, but unfortunately, it doesn't. The graphics are confusing and blurred. Goal is a real letdown. It's the barnet of football games, in fact. It's terrible. It's impossible to see where the ball is. As a result, it's a complete no-hoper from the start. Just avoid it. Something there for everyone in the reviews. OK, it's time for our teams to test their skill at another challenge. Let's go over to the Games Master, find out exactly what this challenge is going to be. The sports sim I've selected is the exciting skiing game, Valdez Air for the Super Nintendo. The challenge is to snowboard down the twisting slalom course in the quickest time. Make sure that you ski between all the gates, as two seconds will be added to your time for every gate missed. Again, I'll award five points for victory, Two points for second place, and nothing for the loser. One note of warning. I do hope our contestants haven't been out on the piste too much while practicing, as this challenge will require perfect timing and lightning reactions. OK, so the game is snowboarding on Val d'Azair. Anil's up first for the Red Bridge Raiders. They came last in the first heat, so they've got everything to play for on this one. All right, then, Anil, start your challenge! He's oh, off he goes. Nice bit Snowboarding down there. They've got to get through those He's gates. Carving. That's the most important thing. They miss those gates, they get a two-second penalty. And the oh, number of gates they miss is shown in the top right-hand corner, corner of the screen by the blue figures. He's whipping in and out. He's, He's only missed one out. gate so far. He's not wiped out. It's very difficult to wipe out on this. Yes, the secret is usually... Man. 
is in how fast Mr. you manage to wiggle your way down the course. If you wiggle too much, he's you lose time, you cut the snow. He's obviously pinning his chances on not getting to be penalties. No, he's missed two There's games in. now. So, and Neil scored 39.12. Sean Seabrook of the armchairs is up next. What's the SP on him, Dave? Well, Sean claims to have completed Sonic 2 within two hours of having bought it, but who doesn't? Well, let's hope it's a serious challenge for him. Sean, get yourself ready! Start your challenge! Go off, he's off, go. he's off. You got off to a good start, nice bit. James trying to wait again, he's going to wiggle in. Harvey nicely. Game. He doesn't want to miss his game. Harvey's he's doing nice. very, very nicely, good very, very good. nicely. I know he was quite worried about this challenge. He was practicing a lot in the practice room, but he's doing very, very nicely. Yeah. He was taking everyone on in the practice room, actually. He was doing very well. In the he practice. seems confident. I think he's only hit two gates so far, which is good. He hasn't got to worry about too many penalties. Oh, he's just scraped inside that gate just now. I thought he was going to catch it. He's doing very, very well. Oh, he just missed that one. That's three gates he's missed. But very good. Through the finish. See what his penalty points are. OK, Sean Seabrook scored 38.92. That's about 0 0.2 of a second faster than the Redbridge Raiders score. As Ed is up next, he's playing for the Turbo Destructors. Let's see if he can do the business. As Ed, start your challenge! Yeah. He's very ready. He's off because Ed. It's important to get off to a nice bit of acceleration at the right. start. If you go too fast, you lose it, however. That's what's doing very well from side side. He's hit no gates so far. He's doing very, well. very, very well. The secret could be not to hit the gates, and then you don't suffer the two-second penalties later on when it tallies up. He still hasn't hit a gate. He's still doing very, very well, weaving from side side. If he can keep his cool, he could be on for putting his team through. He's doing very, very well. He's hit no gates. The gates are getting closer together now. It's getting tough. That's extremely good. That's a perfect time. Line in score. As that score, 34 dead. Fantastic time. I think it's about time we went and checked out the scoreboard. The Raiders scored naught in the first round and naught in this round. That means they've got zilch. Second place is the armchairs. They got two in the first round and two in this heat as well. That means they've got a massive four. And the turbo destructors are the team to beat with a massive ten points. Yeah. Well done, armchairs. Well done, turbo lot. Now, Colleen, team captain of the Redbridge Raiders, got blown out. You gutted? Yeah, I am, actually. These two people are so sad, both of them. Well, not <laughs> sad. Easy. I'm not sad. I'm not sad. It's, it was very close, 0.2 seconds. What could I say? Yeah, but your team captain didn't even get to play. Just stupid, man. <laughs> <laughs> Your standards nowhere near high enough. We're gonna have to get a caretaker to expel you from the academy. Yeah. 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 Okay, in part two, we're gonna have the armchairs and the turbo destructors battling out for a place in the championship semi finals. And if that's not good enough for you, we've got a celebrity challenge that's to die for. So keep it locked and don't go away. We'll be back soon. It's time for our celebrity challenge, and they're waiting in the wings. So, please welcome, if you will, QPR's top scorer, Les Ferdinand, and Wimbledon soccer psycho, Vinnie Jones! Yeah. Oh, OK, 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 yes, yes, yes. There are a lot of fans here tonight. So, uh, Les, we all know Vinny's reputation. You're a bit intimidated him. Yeah, I am a little bit, For this yeah. challenge, yeah? yeah sure. And, uh, Vinny, so do you play a lot of computer games yourself? No, little girl's got a few computer games, you know, and it just yeah. cost me a lot of money. I never get the pay. <laughs> You're not going to say that. <laughs> all right, well, I think it's fairly obvious what kind of challenge these guys are going to be doing. Well, let's go over to the Games Master, find out exactly what it's going to be. I am pleased to announce the first part of my very special Celebrity Soccer Championship. Tonight's contestants will face each other on the realistic football simulation FIFA soccer for the Mega Drive. I have selected Brazil and Holland for the first round. Whoever comes out on top of the two halves of end-to-end -end action qualifies for a chance to win my golden joystick in a fortnight. I want 110% from both my contestants. So, Vinny and Les have taken their position at the console. They're playing the first round of our FIFA Soccer Challenge. The winner of tonight's challenge is going to come back in two weeks' time for the final. Now, Dave, who's your favourite then? Well, I'm putting my money on Vinny Jones's tenacity for this one. Yeah, I reckon you're just playing it safe, Dave. <laughs> anyway, let's see what happens. OK, guys, start your challenge. 
kicking from right to left. The player with a star underneath him will be the player that the, that, the, that the computer games player is actually controlling. When that star is lit up, that shows that that player has control of the ball. The ball nice out. long. A little burst of speed. Shot. He just went wide. If you move the D-pad after you've taken a shot, you get a little bit of aft touch, a little bit of curl. Sometimes that makes a difference with beating the keeper. Oh, That's one nil to Holland and Vinnie Jones. That was a great goal from outside the area. Les actually had the better of the play. Vinnie Vinnie had the one chance and he took it. Get it out of the play. To Two competitors have got to get a little bit closer and choose their shots a little bit more carefully. Into the field, another nice little oh, oh, that's a double goal, Vinnie Jones! Vinnie Jones! Vinnie Jones! Vinnie Jones! Vinnie Jones! Vinnie Jones! Vinnie Jones was poaching. Yeah. Buried it. Lovely. So nil. So nil. Let's 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 go on, got the kick off again. He's oh, really going to have to go Vinnie forward. Vinnie that's the end of the first half. 2-0 to Vinnie Jones. 2-0 to Vinnie Jones and Holland. Players are ready. Okay, let's kick off straight into Vinny again. Now Vinny's really brimming with confidence now. He's winning everything, surging forward. Poor old Les, he's doing his best to pull something out here. It's not working. Vinny Jones with a curling shot just past the upright. Les wants to get forward a bit now. He's got nothing to lose. He really wants to try raining. What a great save. What a save from Vinny. Vinny was there again. the area. So you've got to pick your shot a little bit more carefully. Get a few strikers right, racing. If you've only area. just joined us, the score's still two right, now to Holland. Once again, Brazil are making a valiant effort. The crowd anybody. are going wild. Let's have a nice long kick out from Les. Come on, Les, get it up, Phil. Let's get one make his break. His man's down. Get Go on, get Les. Shot in. Oh, straight over the crossbar. Over the crossbar. And the keeper wants to kick it out. Now, will Les master the kicking? Bosh! Sorry, that was Vinny's keeper. Will Vinny master the keep? Les is all over. Les is really. Oh, that was dirty. We're making a break in the second half. Shove the finish, boys. No, they've won. That's it. It's the end of the second half. Holland win. Holland win. Two nil. This is all done. Let's get him back on stage for three nil. All done. All right, Les. So you let in two goals in the first half. There, do you think it's all blue for you a bit? Yeah, I think so. I think I'll have to worry, have a word with our goalkeeper, Jan Stokes. Yeah, you're blaming the goalkeeper, are you? Vinny, pleased with that result? Yeah, I got the hang of the goalkeeper quite early. Yeah, you certainly were. You are stopping them all over the place. It was a good challenge. Thank you very much. You're going to be coming back in a couple of weeks to play in the final of our FIFA Soccer Challenge, if you don't mind. I'm sure you yeah. yeah, good one. All right, then. Let's have a big round of applause for Les Ferdinand and Vinny Jones. <laughs> In a few moments time, the turbo destructors and the armchairs are going to be battling out for a place in our championship semis. So while they limber up, let's go over to the Games Master for the consultation zone. Hello, and welcome to my clinic for gaming unfortunates. Who's first for some treatment? Games Master, I can't get off level 6 of Aladdin on the Mega Drive. I keep falling off the rocks. Can you help me? Funny you should say that. I don't think it's particularly hard to keep out the lava, but this should solve your problem. While playing the level, pause the game and press the following melodious combinations of buttons. A, B, B, A. A, B, B, A. If you've done this correctly, you will instantly be ferried to the end of the level and on to the next. Satisfied now? Cheers, guys, Arthur. Next. Games Master, I've heard there's a secret bonus room for Super Star Wars on the SNES. Do you know where it is? I may be able to provide a little assistance to you here. Halfway down the sand corner, jump left from the ledge. And as you fall, keep holding down left. Magically, you will travel through the wall and find yourself in a secret room containing a host of bonuses, including a blast of power. It should be an easy matter to complete the level now. Thanks, Games Master. It was no trouble. Who's next? Master, I think more money is in the cut for me, Can you get to me, please? Well, as you ask so directly, I'll tell you directly. On the config accomplished beam, enter your name as Cooper T. Now start the game and look at your bank balance. You'll have loads of money. You will also have access to all the game's array of weaponry, including the awesome Gauss gun. 
Are people all sing? Nice bomb, big fella. I think that's quite enough of my wisdom and dispense for one session. Happy bye. Some useful hints and tips there from the Games Master in the consultation zone. Now, you've joined us at a crucial stage of tonight's show. These two teams are battling out for a place in the semi-final. There's no points here. Whichever team wins, they're the ones who are going to get through. So, team captains, have you chosen who's going to play? Yeah, um, Camel's going to play for my team. Yeah, so Camel, you like the championships resting on your shoulders, you realise that? Yeah. You confident? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. No worries. Well, he's silent, but maybe he's deadly. Sean? Yes, indeed. Did that intimidate you at all? Not in the slightest, unfortunately. We need our guy winding up as much as possible, because that's how he fights best. That's right, and Chris is going to be playing Chris for you, yeah? Chris is going to yeah? be playing for us. Okay, let's go over to the Games Master, find out exactly what this challenge is going to be. Tonight's beat-em-up is the globally renowned World Heroes 2 for the Neo Geo. I've selected the flamboyant characters J-Max and Captain Kidd for this challenge. Two special moves have a real bite and involve some speedy ball play. The first contestant to take two rounds off his opponent will be tonight's winner. Let the battle commence. Okay, Chris and Calgit are in position. They're going to play three rounds of beat em up action on World Heroes 2. Dave, what's these two guys for, mate? Is it going to be a good one? It's going to be a good one because in our audition, Chris was the stronger fighter. He beat Mike Bison twice on level 8 on Street Fighter 2, while Koji lost a round to a level 8 blanker. Okay, so this should be a hot battle. Okay, guys, start your challenge. There we go. Right, I have to point out, Chris is going to be playing J Max, the yeah. American football player, while Koji is actually Captain Kidd. Captain Kidd, oh, fighter. He's boxing him in there. What you should be looking at for is the energy bars at the top of the screen. Yeah. As they go down, Kids the more down you ball. see, the more the fight is stopping. Oh, that was a sharp knuckle special move. That's Captain Kidd's special move called the sharp knuckles. He sends a sharp shaped energy bar, and that was very nice. J Max hit back. This, this is a really Big hits him. That's lovely. That's his, that's his special energy ball American football move. He's hurling it at He's Captain hammering Kidd. it. It's very, very close. Hey. Captain Kidd's got Captain that. Captain Kidd bites the big one. J-Max takes the first round. First round of J-Max. So J-Max is one up. That's Chris no one up. Chris Captain is one up. Captain Kidd's got to win this one now. If he's going to stand a chance. Come on, Captain. You can team. do it. Captain Kidd's making a nice comeback. Captain Kidd uses a lovely he's combination. He's dropping him good. He's not relying on special moves. Well, J-Max and Chris. Chris are firing yes. the people. Captain a quick Kidd's round. the business. Nice That's quick round. round. It's going to go one to the piece. It's going all the way. Here we go for the third round. Here we go. This is it's all up. J-Max's special moves against Captain Kidd's. And once again, Captain Kidd's in a stunning J-Max. The trouble is Chris and J-Max are trying to rely on these special moves. Special energy around the place. Go on, Kidd. Firing at Captain Kidd. Captain Kidd's just getting in there and doing the business with kicks and punches. And it's taking the energy. J-Max is finished. That's the end for Chris. Championship semi-finals. Let's go and meet the teams and see how happy or sad they really are. Here we go, guys. Well done. Are you not coming, you two? Come in quickly. Well done. Chris, well, you won the first round, but things went a bit wrong after that. Yeah. So sorry. what happened? Well, I don't know. I just lost concentration. No. Uh, momentary lapse of concentration. Let your yeah. team down. Yeah. Sean, I suppose you're not too happy with him, really, well, are you? No, I'll have to deal with him later. No, he played well. He won the first round. Um, just didn't get any fireballs, mate. Well, they were a good team, what can you say? I mean, you were confident with your man, weren't you? Yeah, I was very confident. I knew he was going to win. And I'm just like to say bad luck to them lot. Oh, that's not shaking hands. Well, mate. very sporty. No well done. OK, these guys were good, but next week's guys are going to be even better. And if that's not enough for you, we've got John Barnes and Dennis Wise battling out on FIFA Soccer. Should be a good one. Bye. Yeah.